Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to add newsletter in WordPress. So let's begin. Alright, so to add the newsletter, first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugin and click on the add new plugin. And here I have to search for newsletter. Alright, so we have to install this plugin newsletter. Okay, so we have to click on install now and click on activate. Alright, so now we simply need to refresh the page and we will be inside our newsletter so we have to do the configuration here so let's click on next all right so here we have to write down sender email and after this we have to click on next so in the subscription phone it is asking for the two options whether i want you to ask for their name and the second option to add the privacy checkbook all right now i'm gonna simply go here with the name all right so now we're gonna simply click on next again but right now I'm going to skip this and click on next. And now let's click on take me to my widget settings. Alright, so now if I wanted to add my newsletter to the sidebar, I can simply go from here directly. But right now I will simply click on next. And now everything is done. So now we have to go to the dashboard of our plugin. Alright, so this is the dashboard of our plugin. And now if I just click on the newsletters. You will be able to see our newsletter here, but right now we don't have any. And after this, we also have the option for the subscribers. Alright, so whenever we do the configuration, the page of our newsletter form is automatically created. So for that, we have to go inside the pages and click on all pages. And here you will be able to see the page of newsletter that is created by the newsletter plugin. Okay, so now I will just simply click on view. And here, if I just write down the name here, and if I just write down the email here, and if I just click on subscribe, all right, so the subscription has been confirmed. So now, if I just go back to our dashboard, and if I just click on newsletter and into the subscribers, you will be able to see the subscriber that we have created. And we also have the option to edit our user. And even if I wanted to delete the user, I can simply delete this from here. And if I wanted to edit this, I can also edit this from here. So let's just click on the edit. And now you will be able to see the option of the email, first name, last name and other data options here as well. So if you want to edit this, you can simply do this from here. Okay. All right. So after this, what we need to do. So if I wanted to add my newsletter page on the navigation menu, I can simply do this. So for that, I'm going to go inside the appearance and click on the menus and here I will need to look for the page of the newsletter alright so let's just add the newsletter here click on add to menu alright so as you can see here we have our newsletter here and let's click on save menu so now if I just go to our website you will be able to see our newsletter here okay so if I just click here we will be redirected to our newsletter form okay so in the similar way, I can add this on any page as well. So for that, I will need to use the short code. So let's just go here and let's just go inside the pages and click on all pages. All right. So here I will just simply create the new page. If you wanted to go with the existing page, that is really easy. Okay. So let's click on add new page. All right. So here I'm going to simply write down newsletter form. So if you wanted to add this with Elementor, you can simply do this but it doesn't have a lot of the thing to do. So we only have to add the shortcode. So let's click on add block and here let's just write down shortcode. And here you have to write down newsletter underscore form. Okay. So that is the shortcode of our newsletter form. All right. So now let's click on publish and click on publish again. All right. So the page has been published. And I changed the browser because I was having the issue with the first one. Okay, so now let's click on view page. Now you will be able to see our newsletter form. But if you wanted to do this in the Elementor, you would simply go back. And here you just simply click on edit with Elementor. Alright, so here what you need to do, you just have to search for the short code. And click on this. And the short code will be added. Now you have to add the short code of our newsletter. That is newsletter form. All right, so now you can see this, we have our newsletter form. So let's click on update and let's click on preview changes. And now you'll be able to see our both newsletter forms that we have added. All right, so that is how you can add the newsletter form. And after this, what we need to do, first we need to go back into our dashboard. And now we have to click on our newsletter. 
Okay, so we have created the newsletter form. So now what we need to do, so we have to go inside the newsletters. And here I have to click on add new. So this newsletter will be sent to our user in the form of email. So right now I'm going to simply go here with something simple. So let's go here with simple call to action. All right, so this is looking fine. And here I can simply add my logo. And if I wanted to edit this, I can simply do this from here. Here you can see this, we have the layout, we have the text and the width. Okay, so if I wanted to edit this, I can simply do this. And if I wanted to change the image, I would just simply click on here. And from here I can change the image and also the text on our button. Okay, so let's click here and you can see this. So we can simply change the text from here. So that is how simple it is. And after this, we have this simple text or the paragraph. So if you wanted to change the text from here, you can also do this. Okay. So right now I will just add the subject. So the subject would be test email. And if you wanted to add the snippet, you can simply do this. But right now I'm going to simply click on the next. And here you will be adding your audience. Okay. That we have in our subscriber. Okay. So in the list, we have the two options. Either we make at least one off or make all off. So I'm going to go here with all off. And also you can see the other options here. All right, so if I just keep this option empty, then it will basically send the newsletter to everyone. So I'm going to go here with the everyone. And after this, we just need to send this. So let's click on send now and click on OK. And that will send the newsletter email to our subscribers that had subscribed on our newsletter form. All right, so this is how we can create the newsletter in WordPress. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.